So I'm now going to show you how to do a long division method and this is always used for um, numbers, so dividing numbers that are bigger than 12 probably, so any number that you're not necessarily going to know the multiplication straight away. Um, so I'm just going to do how many times is 14 going to 3,296. So the first thing I need to do is make myself, and we tend to call it, a little box of magic, which is um, a little area that I can do some workings out just so that I can keep track of multiplications and useful multiplications um, so that I can use those a little bit later on. So I've got, do up to four, and then I might do 10, because that will help me work out five times, which is going to be half of that, um, 70. Okay, and if I need to, I can always come back to this and add to it as I go along. So first thing I'm gonna do is how many times does 14 go into 32? So 14 goes into, well, no, actually, I beg your pardon. I need to do how many times did 14 go into 3? Well, it doesn't. I skipped ahead because I could see that straight away. And then I'm going to do how many times does 14 go into 32? Now, 14, I can look across here, goes into 32 twice. So I'm going to put my 2 up here because that's part of my answer. And then I'm going to put the 28 because that's the maximum number of times that 14 goes into 32 underneath and I'm going to take it away. It's a little bit like chunking in this method um, and that gives me four. However, I'm now moving on and so instead of just moving things up here um, and if this was a three digit number then then carrying is going to end up really really cramped. So this is why we tend to use this strategy um, when the numbers here are much much bigger but I'm just doing a 14 to to be able to show you how to do that. So I tend to then make some really fun noises. So I'm gonna drop that nine down and go and that helps me remember that I've got to drop that nine down. So I'm now doing how many times does 14 go into 49? And I'm gonna go across to my little box of magic. Well, it goes a maximum of three times and that is 42. So again, I'm gonna take it away and that gives me five left over. And I still need to work out what to do with that six. I'm going to go, Neow, poof, and it's down there. How many times does 14 go into 56? Luckily for me, this actually works out perfectly. So 14 goes into 56 um, four times. There's my answer. And I'm just going to prove my point by finishing it off really nicely.